in this video i want to show you two ways you can make massive profits from the forest market two strategies that has helped me to make massive profits from the forest market whether in one day or in one week or in a month these strategies will give you the edge you need to excel and to make massive profits on the forest market the first strategy is demand and supply trading you are aware that I'm, I'm a demand and supply trader or some people call it smart money concept whether demand and supply or smart money they are all the same just a little little difference and you see now what does demand and supply traders do demand and supply traders mostly take trades from demand zones or supply zones or they just mostly trade the mitigation of a bearish or a bullish order block. That is what demand and supply traders do. Like you can see here, you have a market structure. If you're yet to know what is called market market structure, I will put a video to my the video uh, a link to the, the video I've made on market structure. So what do demand and supply traders do? If for a bullish market structure, they take the they trade the mitigation of the uh, bullish order block. Like you can see now here, they took the they took trades from here. There's a break of structure right here. Trade taking from here. Break of structure right here. Trade taking uh, from this place. Right here, uh, there is a, a break of structure. Trade taking. This is a, these are demand demand zones demand zones. And this is a, this is a bullish market structure. So demand and supply traders for a bullish market structure, uh, you have a, a break of structure. They trade take uh, the trade this zone. Break of structure. Trade this zone. Break of structure. You know, and all that, and just like that. So you can see this is a mitigation of this zone, and you can see this is a mitigation that is that uh, that was traded here. This is a mitigation, all right. This is also a mitigation. So these are demand zones for a supply zone, a, 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 a sell a structure, a sell or a bearish market structure. You you trade from uh, a supply zones or what some other people, some other traders call bearish uh bearish order block you can see this is a supply zone this is unmitigated this is a mitigated supply uh, uh this is a mitigated supply zone if you take trades from here this is a mitigated supply zone this is not a mitigated supply zone all right so you have mitigated and unmitigated supply zone all right or uh, demand zones as well here this is a mitigation of a demand zone here this is a mitigated demand zone this demand zone was not mitigated here, this supply zone was not mitigated. This demand zone was mitigated. Sorry, this supply zone was mitigated. This supply zone was mitigated. So that is what basically what supply uh, demand and supply traders do, or smart money traders do. So this is one way I make a lot of uh, funds from uh, money or income from the forest market. So this is a supply zone here. This is a supply zone. This is a supply zone. Okay, trades will be taken from here, from this point. All right, and selling down here. This is the zone. This is the zone. All right, or a bearish order block here is a demand zone, and trades taken from this point. All right, this is one way I make funds. I make. I don't trade the drop uh, base, drop uh, supply zones, or uh, uh, rally base, rally uh, demand zones. I mostly trade uh, rally base, drop supply zones, or drop base rally demand zones so this is like a, a rally base uh, this is like a rally base drop uh, supply zone and this is like a, a drop base rally demand zones all right so this is the kind of trades that i take and if you are in my free telegram channel you see what i do if you're also in our in instagram if you're in my instagram you see my, all the my previous shots of uh, trades that i've taken over the years you see them and you see the kind of trades that i take so i just want to expose you to how you can join me to start amassing wealth from the forest market. So this is my setup, one of my setups, all right? So now you can see my previous trades. These trades, I took this trade. You can see the date and you can see I took this trade. This was just uh, in July, all right? This is about on the 2nd of July. Okay, so you can see how I traded this supply zone or this uh, bearish order block. I, there was a, there was a liquidity taken out from here. This was a liquidity and price rallied up to the liquidity and you can see how it sold down. All right, so this is the after, this is before and after shot of what, how I trade. Okay, my private one-on-one -on -one mentees, I show them all these secrets. I expose all these things to them. I give them, I go into more details to explain how, what forms my, what forms my setups and the things to look out for before you get into my setup. Things, special things, secret things to look out for before you take trades, before I take trades. You may, you may think you know 
uh, your regular supplies on but there are still more things you have to look out for so this is just one of my trades all right this is one of my trades now you can see another of my this what this that one i just showed you is the supply zone all right but this is now a demand zone and you can see i posted in my free telegram channel if you want to join our free telegram channel kindly do so the link is in the description box of this of this uh, youtube of this video or the profile section of this youtube channel you can see i said that in my analysis that price was going to come down to this point and price actually did come price is going to the market is going to buy from here and you can see how the market respected my analysis and actually bought you can see in this one i said as well that price was going to sell price the market is going to sell from that uh, supply zone and it actually did we just look for entry confirmations and we get into the market you can see another another example how that i said that the market so we're going to sell from this supply zone as well okay just all we just needed to do was to get a, a, a confirmation entry and the market sold and this is what you see this 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 is profit these are massive profits massive profits okay so this strategy does work i'm going to show you something else it does work okay now this one also is a demand zone a demand zone i said the market was going to come right down to the zone and we look for what is called the entry confirmations. Yeah, I've made a, several videos on smart money entry confirmation strategy. I've put the link to that video. All several videos I've made, strategic videos I've made in time pass. I put them in the description box of the video so that you can actually view them and update your knowledge on the market. So you can see the market respected the zone and bought right there. Okay, but now there are exceptions to this. All right, there is an exception or there are exceptions to this. Uh, supply and demand zone trading i just showed you in some situations price may fail or price fails to come to the demand zone before buying our uh, price may also fail to come to the supply zone before so i'm going to show you these exceptions of what i've just showed you the exceptions of this strategy that are of demand and supply zone strategy i'm going to show you the exception and this exception you saw it happen last two weeks in our telegram channel i showed i showed it i showed an analysis and that respected the exception i'm going to show you right now but if i do so Please kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel if you need to do so. Please, some of you have viewed my videos but you have not subscribed. Kindly subscribe. Support this channel to grow so that I can be more encouraged to give you more free tutorials that will help you to become a better trader. This is the exception. This is called the unmitigated supply and demand zones exception. All right. What happens is that here, this is this is this is supposed to be uh, a supply zone. Market is supposed to come right there. The market is supposed to come right there and mitigate the supply zone and sell but what did the market do what did the market do the market just came came right there and sell the market did not respect the supply zone why that is why i'm telling you that is why you need to know i'm going to show you two things that you need to know how to know when the market is not going to respect or mitigate your supply zone or your demand zones i'm going to give you two two secrets why the market will not mitigate your in a situation whereby you need to uh, don't bother uh, waiting for this zone you take your trades from here why the market will not going to respect your supply or demand zone or mitigate your supply or demand zone in this case as well the market is supposed to come right there the market is supposed to come right there and buy from here all right but instead what did the market do instead what the market the market just came came right there and buy from here the market just buy uh, the market bought from here instead of coming down to the to the zone properly to buy okay so what are the exceptions how to know when price won't mitigate your supply or demand zone first one is that there's a formation of supply or of a support or resistance zone instead of a supply or demand zone there's a there is a formation of a so there's a difference between support and resistance and supply and demand zone some people do not know so a support zone a support zone is a zone whereby the price ha have tested for a long time okay, you can see a support this is like this is a support a support okay price have tested here for several times price tested this zone several times it becomes a support the support is like the floor of your house where the resistance is like a roof this is a resistance price have tested here several times okay a supply zone a zone a supply zone will just be like this okay but this one is not a supply this is a support price have mitigated have tested here several times all right so that is the that is the difference okay so there is a formation of a support or resistance zone instead of a supply or demand zone when you see uh some form of uh, uh, so, uh support support or resistance 
instead of supply and demand zone, know that price may likely break through. Price might not respect, market might not respect that as a zone, as a supply or demand zone. What do I mean? This would now form a liquidity. Most times, support and resistance, support and resistance is mostly like a liquidity. Okay, for smart money traders, all right, or the institutional traders. This you can see how this liquidity was raided by this this long moment, this momentum. The liquidity was raided. You can see it. It was raided down there. All right. So because several people stop losses will be here, so that replay traders stop loss will be here, and the smart money or the institutional traders raided down this this and swept all the stop losses and now came right there. And then when people now got into the trade right here, when this stop loss we are raided, they now feel. When people say stop losses, people will now, sorry, when people, uh, other traders, retail traders now uh, place their stop loss right here again in order to get into the sell trade, you discover that now the markets sell as well. Okay, so you can see here as well, this uh, this is supposed to be a support, a, sup uh, a resistance, this is supposed to be a resistance, but in a strong sense, it is liquidity. Okay, and the smart money traders or the central traders rated this this uh liquidity stop losses rated of a literate traders that is it okay so that is why you need to uh, know what i'm trying to share with you this is this knowledge takes experience this takes experience to know so as forest mentors will not teach you what i'm teaching you all right what i'm secrets i'm exposing to you this come this you can't find this in books you can't find this in trading books it comes from knowledge knowledge for years of knowledge all right or years of experience from from the market trading the market on years of expense i've gotten from trading the markets now second thing you need to know is the price break support or resistance zones with a strong momentum just have to show you two things first of all there's a support or or resistance zone instead of a supply or demand zone now price breaks the support or resistance zone with a strong momentum now let us look at, at some examples you can see this one i share this setup if you're in my telegram channel you're going to say i share this setup on my telegram channel go to my telegram channel last week you're going to see that i share this setup i share this setup how that the market some the market ordinarily is supposed to respect this zone to trade market supposed to trade up to this zone and sell but i knew from my experience that there's a formation there's a formation of a, of this uh, this is a formation of a support zone all right support zone right there and so and the market actually broke the support zone because this is actually a liquidity this is a liquidity pool Okay, this is a liquidity pool. Stop losses of retail traders. That is a liquidity pool. And now the market broke it. I knew that the market is not going to respect this supply zone. So instead, we just have the market support turned into resistance. Support turned into resistance right there. And you can see how that the market sold from here instead of here. So support turned into resistance and sold. This is experience. And my mentees took this trade and they made so much profit. All right, so let's see other examples. Here, here, the market is supposed to buy uh, buy from here. This is the demand zone. The market is supposed to buy from ordinarily. Okay, but no, there is actually a, a resistance zone right there that was broken with a strong momentum. A resistance zone right there was broken with a strong momentum. This is liquidity pool. All right, and the market broke this resistance zone and then resistance turned into support. Resistance turned into support. So this is a good place to take the trade. Instead, this is a better place to take the trade. Instead of here, because of the strong momentum with which the market broke, took out this liquidity, and this is actually a, a, a resistance zone. All right, let's see more example. You can see this one. A good characteristics of how to know one of the defining factors of this strategy is a strong momentum. If the market, you can see this strong handle, if the market broke, the zone this is a support zone broken by a strong momentum see this kind of broke this supply this uh uh, uh the support zone right here so the market will not necessarily respect this to not the market will not trade from here most likely it's going to take it's going to mitigate or resistance sorry support is going to turn to resistance you can see this support turned into a resistance now that you can now take your trade from there see this one as well look at this one this is a case of uh you ought to have taken trade from here ordinarily supply zone but no the market broke this support this support all right by this strong momentum and now the market turned this support into resistance and trade from here, instead of trading from there all right here as well here as well here as well the resistance zone broken 
and the market took did not market did not respect this zone the market did not respect this demand zone it actually it, it was a case of a resistance turned into support and the market bought from there all right so if you benefited if you learn one or thing from this uh, uh, uh content please subscribe to this youtube channel all right give me your support subscribe so that i can be encouraged to do more videos for you subscribe to this youtube channel join our telegram the channel our telegram channel link is in the description box of this youtube or this youtube video or this youtube video or the telegram or the uh, uh, profile of this youtube channel if you want me to mentor you one-on-one -on -one, i can help you take you by the hand on to become a a successful forest trader i don't show uh, cars or wealth or money because i don't i don't need that to convince you i've got the knowledge i've got the experience for you to, to help you to become great and successful in trading all right so send me a, a, a dm my contact details in the description box or is in the free telegram channel and the link to the free telegram channel is in the description box of the video so like come here next time with another issues content do have a wonderful day ahead bye